Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you an idea of uh, how we travel week in, week out. Um, Sunday morning, I'm on the train to London King's Cross and I've got to get the underground to Paddington and then into Heathrow. Staying at the Sofitel uh, at T5 tonight because I've got to have a Covid test, which I'll show you a little later. Um, but this is the first start of the journey. Um, Newark all the way through to King's Cross uh, and then underground to Heathrow. So that wasn't too bad. Um, two stops straight through to Heathrow. Just uh, making my way now to the Sofitel Hotel where I'll be spending the night here. Just about to go and do my Covid test which uh, gets put in tonight at 8 o'clock and guaranteed to be back by 8am in the morning. Uh, and I fly BA tomorrow night to Johannesburg. So I'm in my hotel room, just had to uh, purchase a PCR test, which is uh, this little thing here. Um, and what I need to do is spit saliva up to the four mil line. So I've got to do that now, take it to reception. They, um, they then send it off and I'll get my results back uh, by 8 a.m. in the morning. So uh, here goes. So Monday morning, um, had a really good night's kip uh, at the Sofitel. Just got my... Uh, breakfast delivered to the room um, because obviously all the bars and restaurants are shut so it's been a bit boring uh, and it's going to be a bit boring until nine o'clock tonight um, because that's when my flight is so uh, it's just a matter of uh, keeping myself busy and uh, heading to the airport at three o'clock that's when I have to check out uh, and I'll have a six hour wait at the airport waiting to get on the flight to SA tonight so uh, I've had my test results back come back negative which is great so uh, another brilliant uh, service from the Sofitel um, where I checked in yesterday at three o'clock and uh, put my Covid test in then and by eight o'clock this morning as soon as I woke up the uh, the test had come through and uh, it was negative so uh, so all was good. At three o'clock Monday afternoon we're now at Heathrow T5 as you can see it's not like the normal. Possibly the quietest I've ever seen it. And uh, I've got six hours now to wait until we take off at the airport. So uh, Cafe Nero is the only place that's open. So I'll be going to sit in there, try not to have too many coffees and uh, check back in when we're about to get on the flight. Heathrow, Terminal 5. In 17 years of caddying, I have never seen an airport, especially T5, so quiet. All the shops are shut. The only place it's open is Pret and WH Smith. There's no bars, no restaurants. It is like a ghost town. And I've got six hours to wait before my flight. Cheers. Five hours in the airport, train now to uh, B Gates, where should be boarding in about 30 minutes to go to the, uh, the plane. Finally on a very empty flight, only 88 people on a 350 capacity plane, on the way to Joburg after a long day. See you tomorrow. So we're uh, 10 hours and 20 minutes in after taking off. Uh, my Apple Watch tells me I've had seven hours sleep, which has been great. Um, just come in to land now, into Johannesburg. Got an hour taxi drive to the golf course, uh, where we're staying on site. Um, Covid test again at 12 o'clock. Quick shower and change, and then uh, out on the golf course. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long 48 hours, but we are nearly there. So after starting my journey two days ago on the train from Newark to Heathrow, finally touched down in Joburg. And I'm in the car now on the way to the golf course. Pretty tired, but uh, we're here. Here we are at the hotel, Rand Park Golf Course. Quite a lovely place so far. Nice. Huge bed, TV, and a uh, nice balcony. So yeah, we're here, 
All's good. Let's get started. So I've just been had my on-site COVID test done, which is uh, quite a long um, cotton bud, which uh, the lady shoves down your throat, which uh, every time I've had it done, I gag and nearly be sick on someone. So it's not very nice at all. And then she shoves it up your nose, which feels like she's poking your left eye out. Um, it feels like it goes on forever. It's only a 10 second thing, but it feels like we're there for, for about five minutes. So uh, it's not a pleasant uh, thing to have to do every week, but it's uh, something the European Tour are doing on a weekly basis to keep us all safe, staying in the bubble. Um, and now we have four hours to wait till we get our results. We are allowed to go out on the golf course, but um, it's basically golf course or hotel room. We're not allowed to go in the clubhouse and, uh, and have any food. So I've just ordered some room service for lunch. And then um, Sam should be here in about an hour's time and uh, we will be going out to play, practice and play nine holes. So, uh, so yeah, so after a long, long trip, we're finally here in South Africa. So just wanted to give you a bit of an insight on, uh, on what we do on a weekly basis traveling to, uh, to different countries.